Well, good morning, gentlemen. Now, I've just got back from Portugal. I'm trying to get used to this place I'm in. Generally in Portugal, I get up fairly early and go out on my balcony and have a coffee. So I did that this morning. But now I have a few bruises on my leg and arm because I don't have a balcony where I am here. And I fell straight out the window. Luckily, I'm only on the first floor. Anyway, and to more serious th items here. This story in the news has been manipulated to make it sound like a fairy tale. And I don't know whether we're supposed to feel sorry for the puppy or the person driving the motorcycle who actually was killed in an accident in Guatemala. But because the person was a femon driving a motorcycle, they virtual signal it until the cows come home. And to top it all off, this is a rescue puppy, who of course was abused before. Don't know how they know that, the puppy's hardly any age at all. But they say the puppy refused to leave the femon's side. You really don't get that bonding after one day, which is as long as she's had the puppy. But I guess it adds to the story, right? And of course they make this femon, who is only 17 years of age, a fantastic person with her complete life ahead of her. Apparently there was an accident on a roundabout and a lorry driver must have rode over her or the bike and she was killed. They don't say the lorry driver was a male, but they certainly imply it. And apparently this femon was going out to buy some toys and some clothes for the puppy. Clothes? What does she think she has, a baby? But this happens a lot with Febons. They like the puppy because it's small and cute. But puppies grow up to be dogs, sometimes quite big dogs, and they stop being cute, and Femons lose interest. That's why there's so many dogs in the shelter that are usually six months to eight months old. But we're not supposed to mention that, of course. And apparently the lorry didn't stop. But they found the lorry later on, hidden somewhere, but they couldn't find the driver yet. But the main gist of this story is this fantastic femon was killed on a motorcycle by a bad male lorry driver. So it must be his fault, even though they really don't know whose fault it was. This femon was only 17 years of age, not very experienced I don't expect, and that bike looks rather big. Now I don't mean to say anything, a 17 year old femon has lost her life, that's very sad. But it's the way they use this story, to virtual signal. I should imagine a lot of people in Guatemala don't have insurance. The same when I lived in Thailand. I remember when I lived in Thailand, there was loads of accidents, people being knocked off their motorbikes. And I never saw anybody stop. And I was told a lot of times, if you hit somebody and they're still alive, they reverse back over them, because it's cheaper if they're dead. I mean, this article is obviously written by a femon or a simp male. Most likely a femon, I think. And what I dislike about femons in general, and their nature, is the way they're reported in the news as well. All false personas. How wonderful and great they really are, and how they're just an angel. When in reality, of course, it couldn't be probably further from the truth. But all femons create this false persona, don't they? When in real reality, they're quite a shallow person. And they always make out that they're doing really well in life, you know. She's studying criminology or something. I mean, she's only 17 years of age. What could she have done up to now? But they twist everything just to push that narrative. Femons are good, males are bad. Which generally means the truth goes out the window. But the reality is, I used to own a motorbike when I was a young man for many years. And they're dangerous, especially with the traffic. Any altercation with a motorbike on a road, in a car or truck, could be fatal for the motorcyclists. That is probably one of the draws for the males. Excitement. For a lot of femon motorcyclists, it's show. That's why a lot of feminist motorcyclists have big motorcycles. They can hardly hold up, let alone drive. I myself had quite a few accidents. Luckily, I didn't get hurt badly. But that bike that she was driving looks rather big. They don't actually say, but I should imagine she was knocked off the bike and the lorry driver rode over her. But I should imagine he panicked and was scared and ran away. But if you look at statistics, you will find many, many more males in bike accidents that are killed. But you don't hear about them. The double standards is just amazing, isn't it? To me, this is just another tragic accident, which just happens to be a femon. Probably in the same day, there was another 15 motorcycle accidents with males that were killed or maimed. But they're bad people, so they don't get the notice. It's the way the media portrays femons always as goody two-shoes. When, of course, in reality, most of us real men know they're far from it. But with social media 
and good video is on phones nowadays. A lot of men are waking up to the true nature of the femon. Mostly it's all just an act and deception. This person who lost their life in the accident probably was a very nice person. But it's the way they twist it. And most femons do exactly the same thing. They never really show their real selves because you wouldn't like it. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about this news item. And anything else you want to mention. Now you take it easy now.